Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you and talk about my five current obsessions as far as lip products. I'm also going to be doing some lip swatches so you can get a better idea of how they look. So let's start. So the very first lip product that I just have been so obsessed with and I have talked about before is this lipstick from Essence. I just think that if you want that glowy, sheer, nude kind of color, you cannot go wrong with this lipstick. It is such a creamy, beautiful formula. It glides on like butter and the color is just so flattering. I have the shade 302 Heavenly and it is like kind of a cool toned, nudey kind of base shade. I just feel like it flatters my skin tone so well and if you have a similar skin tone to me, I think you're going to really like this. If you have a deeper skin tone, I think this could be a great shade to kind of lighten in the center of the lips. And I just feel like it's a very fuss-free lip product. It just always looks good whenever I am running out the door and I just need something on my lips. This is one of the products that I usually gravitate towards because it's just... It always looks good with no matter what I'm using because it's also such a neutral shade. These are called the hydrating nudes and they are really hydrating. I don't feel like my lips dry out when I use these. I feel like really they just nourish my lips a lot. This is a pretty good build up kind of swatch because it is a more sheer and lightweight formula. I just feel like especially for the time now where we're in, these type of glossy lip products have been so popular. So why not try this because this is under $5 and it is so good. I always have it with me, really. I just always do because it's, it's just that good. The next lipstick is kind of similar. It's also a nudie color, but it's a little lighter and it is the L'Oreal Color Riche Shine Lipstick and this one is in the shade MLBB or hashtag MLBB. On its own, it's way too light in my opinion, but I love to use this to lighten up any other lipstick and it looks very good when you line your lips with a darker lip liner and you apply this or you use this as a kind of glossy nudie base and add another color in the center, like a red. It kind of creates that popsicle pinky kind of look. It's a really good lipstick to have. Again, it's super creamy. It does not dry my lips out. I feel like this formula doesn't last as long and I feel like it even lasts less than the Essence lipstick simply because I find this formula to be a little thinner. It's still, nonetheless, such a staple for me. The only thing I don't like about this is the scent. I just really don't like it. It's kind of trying to be floral, but it's just not very pleasant. But other than that, it's such a good lipstick. I really, really like it. This is it next to the Essence lipstick. As you can see, it's a lot more like pink toned because it is more of that pink toned light nude and not as much of a beigey brown kind of shade. So if you have neutral to cool toned skin, I feel like this could be very, very pretty on you, but I still like that it doesn't pull too pink on me. Like when I use it, it literally just looks like a fleshy kind of nude shade. It's perfect to put on top of a bunch of lip products. Next up, we have a matte lip product, but this has to be the best matte lipstick formula I have ever tried. It is the Rollman Zero Matte Lipstick. I have two shades. I have the shade, which is Pink Sand, and I also have Midnight, which is a very deep, dramatic burgundy. But Pink Sand is just so good for every day. It's kind of like a mauve pink, but with more pink in it. It's so good, you guys. If you like matte products, but you feel like your lips look you know, wrinkly, chapped, something that just may look not very perfected and smooth. This formula is so good for those types of conditions because it just glides over any lip line and it really fills in the lines and it creates a very blurred effect. This lipstick has like a strong silicone-y, dimethicone -y kind of feel to it. It's similar to the Powder Kiss lipsticks from MAC if you have tried those, but I find this to be even better. I find this formula to be a bit more comfortable than the MAC ones. The shade range does pull quite red and pink um, and not too many nudes. I hope they'll extend the shade range at some point because they do have a bunch of shades, but it's just mostly like pink and reds and stuff, which I totally get. It's just very popular. Um, in Korea, but this shade is one of the more nudie shades and I just really love to use this, you know, dab it lightly on the lips 
it just feels so good and it also works very well with the gloss as well it doesn't bunch up or anything it's such a beautiful pink when you want to have a little bit of color but not too much you can just dab this on it's also very pretty as a blush i have used it that way so many times and it just blends into your skin so seamlessly because of the formula so if you're looking for a matte lipstick formula and for a pinky kind of shade i really recommend the roman zero matte lipstick now i'm kind of cheating because um i said i have five products but these are two times the same it's just two different colors so i kind of mixed them together so i kind of just am mentioning both because i love both just as much this has to be my favorite product really from all of these this has to be my favorite favorite product these are the etude fixing tins and they have to be the best lip tint i have ever tried and i have tried a bunch and they are just my ideal formula a lot of lip tints have nowadays that very soft blurring kind of cloudy texture to them and these ones are a little different because they're kind of like a water-based lip tint like how we used to know them back in the day and they just dry down in such a beautiful way they become part of your lip they're not thick they don't have that dimethicone feeling or anything which is why they pair with a gloss so so well because if you were to apply a gloss on top of the those velvety lip tints it just slips and slides because they don't really tint especially like those velvety tints kind of sit on top of your lips which does make your lips look very blurred and very very cushiony but if that is not really what you're looking for and you're looking for something long-lasting this is the formula to try these went crazy in 2019 or 2020 i believe i don't even know they went crazy in asia because of them being so mask proof which they really are once you apply them you let them set they don't move they don't go anywhere and because they tint your lips you can apply a gloss on top and once everything wears off you're still left with color it's just the most beautiful product Ever. I love it for you know those like very juicy looking kind of lips. I'm wearing one of them right now I'm wearing dusty beige topped off with a product I'll be mentioning very shortly, which is another obsession of mine, but these are just phenomenal to be used on their own just matte They work so well to be topped off with a gloss Phenomenal. I could go on and on about these because they are just so so good Even if they're not the most velvety lip tints They still don't make your lips look dry and they don't dry all your lips, which is what I was kind of expecting I thought that since it's such a Not dry but like matte matte formula supposed to be mask proof that it would totally dry out my lips it totally does not and it's just so mind-blowing to me I can use these every day and they never dry my lips out like let's say a liquid lipstick would mm -mm. you can use these every single day and your lips are still going to be alive <laughs> I'm already crying because I just know that these stain so much so once I remove the tint it's going to be so hard to get the stain off of my skin but it's worth it I just have to show you <laughs> so on this side we have dusty beige which is as it suggests kind of like a mauvey beigey kind of shade it's very cool tone so i really love to use it i just feel like it flatters me very well um but cranberry plum is also pretty cool tone it's just a lot more of a stronger color this you know lightly very lightly dapped on the lips because it is pretty strong and then a gloss on top gives you the most beautiful juicy looking lips if you're looking for a matte lip tint if you're browsing on yes style and you're wondering which one to get get this one because it is so versatile you can use it matte you can use it glossy you just have the best of both worlds because it just works so well with the gloss it's just has to be one of the best look products i've ever tried and last but not least we have a gloss of course we have to have a gloss because gloss are just one of my favorite things ever which is funny i love to buy matte lip products but i always top them off with a gloss so it's kind of long lasting but glossy at the same time love it <laughs> this one is from essence so another pretty affordable product and it is the extra shine volume gloss in the shade 105 flower blossom it is a cool toned milky kind of pink almost lilac shade i'm going to swatch it but you're probably not going to be able to see anything because it's just a very milky gloss um and yeah you cannot see that <laughs> at all 
You can see that it's glossy, but you can't really see the milkiness of it on my hand. It slightly lightens the product that you're wearing underneath, but not too much. It is not too milky that a darker skin tone wouldn't be able to use it because it's more sheer milky, not like straight up milky. It doesn't have too much of a base tone to it, so it doesn't completely mask out your lips, which is why I really like to use this, you know, lightly line my lips with the liner just to give a little bit of shape and then add this gloss on top. It's just always so beautiful. And again, since it's minty, it's just so comfortable to use. It just feels kind of refreshing. I really enjoy it. So I have talked about these essence glosses for a while now. I have a bunch of shades and this one has been my latest obsession because it kind of, you know, brightens and lightens but gives a beautiful shine it's just not too much it's just very versatile and i really really like it just generally check out the essence counter they're so good really the glosses have to be one of my favorites i usually wear these glosses over my maybelline lifter gloss actually i just find them to last a little longer on me than the maybelline one so have been loving it always use it pretty much on top of everything <laughs> and that completes today's video i hope you give these products a try especially like if you have like just one lip product that you could buy right now because you're on a no buy you don't want to you know like break the bank splurge too much please do yourself a favor and get yourself the etude lip tint really it is just so so good ah uh, i just can't talk enough about it and if you really want to have like the best combo get the essence gloss it's like what two dollars so you're really for like under ten dollars going to have the best lip combo ever trust me it's just so good i really hope that you try one of them let me know what your favorite lip products are and give me a thumbs up if you did find this video interesting or helpful and i really hope to see you in my next video take care bye bye